So I've just added in this extra one about formal charge because students are often asking me when they do us at Lewis dot structures, uh, for instance, with this cyanide or iso uh, cyanide over here. Uh, why is the HC in the middle or why is the N in the middle? Uh, and also for um, some example questions I'll have on the website for sulfate and phosphate, um, the answers I'm going to give are not quite correct because they're for the ATAR syllabus. So if you want to know what the real correct answer is, you need to know just a little bit extra. Um, just like breaking the octet rule for borium, uh, boron and beryllium is uh, you can't fit four things on the outside. The nucleus is too small, so you can only fit three. Anything in the third period actually can break the octet rule and you can have Instead of four double bonds, you can have six, um, five double bonds. So you can have uh, 10 valent uh, electrons, uh, five uh, bonds, all right? So five valent electrons all in their own bonds, uh, making 10. Uh, and so you need to know that. Uh, and then you need to compare all the structures and the ones that have the formal charges the lowest are the correct um, structures. So the correct, the formal charge is basically uh, just a stability thing. Uh, so you can see from the formula here that um, the valence electrons, if they are all bonded, uh, so they will, their numbers will double. Uh, so the electron is nice and safely in, um, sort of captured and in between two nuclei. So the electrons are very stable. Uh, and that will give you a, a, a reading of zero. Now, if they're not, then you'll have this number here, uh, non-bonded electrons in your formula and that will give you a number that is not zero. So you can see here uh, for this one that's not um, the best answer, the formal charge on the nitrogen. Um, I'll just fix this one up. It's actually the wrong way around. Uh, the formal charge here on the nitrogen is uh, the valence electron is five. Uh, and you can see that there is no lone pairs there at all. Uh, and so that's zero. And then there's two, four, six, eight. So there's eight electrons in bond. So there's eight divided by two. So that gives you a reading of one. Uh, and so that is not ideal. Now you have to do the formal charge on every single atom. I've been a bit lazy not to give the hydrogens, uh, but you can see the numbers I've done here. And in this case, it's zero each time, but this one it's one and, and minus one. So um, over on average, they do equal zero, uh, but you've got a unequal electron dispersion uh, and that will not create stability but allow for reactions to occur. So if you're um, wondering why the internet gives a slightly different answer, uh, that's because they are a, a formal charge and they've had a whole heap of different Lewis dot structure possibilities. This is a good one. They look the same. Uh, you do further analysis with formal charge and you'll be able to work out the correct one. Okay, um, so I'll accept all of the answers. Um, and probably the answer I'm looking for is the incorrect one because it's the one that hasn't had, it's the one that follows through logically, but doesn't, but if you really want to know the correct answer, you have to look at a lot of other different possibilities and then check their formal charges. Okay, hope that's helpful.